Good morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Subnautica! Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing this time. Do I say that too much at the start of each episode? I think I do, every episode starts off with, don't really know what I'm doing this time, and then I end up doing a whole lot. But, <laughs> this time I really don't know. Look at our base, it look, doesn't it look cute? It looks, it looks like a little dog. It looks like it's got legs and a, a body and a neck and a head. Um, so, a little housekeeping before I actually go off and do anything, I wanted to say some stuff. Because I've been in talks with the Subnautica developers for a while and recently I've been in talks with them more about like the performance of everything because you guys know that the performance has not been the best. The performance in a lot of aspects has not been the best in this game. It chugs along, it stutters, it crashed way too often and I had to go in and delete some files in my folders to clear out some of the spawning locations of things and then you had to reload the game and it redid those files and then it kind of solved some of the crashing problems. Well, the developers have been trying for a long time to figure out the cause of all these issues. And I've been emailing them back and forth and giving them like crash reports of stuff that had happened in my games and different things like that. So they went off and they studied a, a great deal on what was causing it. And they, they seem to have come across some stuff recently. And I pinned a comment at the start of the last episode or on the comments of the last episode that one of the problems was the, the Seamoth inventory. Because you can put stuff in the side of your Seamoth and it acts like a little storage module and if you save your game with stuff inside that, the game writes new code and duplicated what was in your inventory. Now I don't know the specifics of this, um, they, they probably have a better understanding of all this stuff than what I'm going to say. But it used to duplicate your loot that was in your Seamoth, not in the game, just in the code. In the game, everything still appeared to be normal, but in the code for the game, it was duplicating all these items. So it was, it was invisibly loading in things that weren't there. And it ended up causing this huge memory issue and a huge crash of all these different things. Again, I don't know the specifics of it, but like this, this shit was happening and it used to cause a bunch of stuff to be loaded into the game that wasn't actually being loaded in to, to the player, but for what was going on in the background, all this different stuff was being loaded in. So it broke the game in a lot of ways. Does my game just crash? No. It broke the game in a lot of ways, and the memory kind of fucked up, and it just, it, it created this resource hog where your frames would just go down and down and down and down when they shouldn't have. So, they seemed to have figured that out, and there was some stuff here and there with saving in different locations, and it would respawn some of the loot. And that's why some of the doors that I was lasering through weren't working. That you'd laser through them, and then you'd have to laser through them again, and you'd have to laser through them again. So a bunch of different things like that, and they did say that these videos were a huge help to figuring out the problems. Especially the problems with the Aurora, where you go into the Aurora, and so like half the Aurora would just despawn, and you wouldn't be able to see it. And then you go forward, save your game, Reload the game and then all of a sudden the rest of the thing would reload and the stuff behind you was gone So they did say that these videos helped a lot which makes me really happy because I was trying for a long time Did I just smack into something? Oh Sorry <laughs> I was trying for a while to help them figure out these things and sending them crash reports and everything so I'm really glad that they figured it out um it's probably still not perfect, it probably still has a ways to go, and they're changing some stuff in the game. Like, now if you, if you build a base on land, it will terraform the land automatically for you and create, like, these huge chunks would be taken out of the land to accommodate for your base. Now you can't do that. They're gonna add an update where that's not possible anymore, because it was just breaking the game too much. Uh, I don't know if they're it back in eventually, but... For now, you kind of have to have a foundation to build your bases on land to try and fix a lot of that problem. Which, to be fair, terraforming didn't create a whole lot of stuff in regards to creating your bases on land, so... I'm glad they kind of went for better performance rather than, like, little things here and there, so... Again, that was just a little bit of housekeeping to start off the episode while I travel over here. Because I'm going searching for wrecks. I'm going searching. There's two things I want to get that people have been telling me are in the game that are very, very important. Is a water filtration system, which will help me get a lot of water very easily, because water is a very big killer for me in this game. And also a modification station, which was the workbench in the game before that could help you create like the heated knife and I mentioned that in the last episode so people were telling me that you find it in Rex and I think some people said it was in the blood kelp wreck and my game was broken before so maybe it's fixed now I don't fucking know we'll see 
But that is a lot of stuff got to do with Subnautica. They are trying to fix the game. They are working on it. It's not it's not just my game. It's everybody's game. The game had like a lot of issues going on in the background that needed to be fixed and they said they were working their asses off and I really feel for them because they're really good guys and they're really good developers and I I like them. They they're really passionate about this game and they really want it to be the best it can possibly be. So, it's nice to see them working hard to create the best possible experience. Anyway, I'm done talking about it. That's that's enough for now. It's enough talking. It's enough jibber jabber. Let's go find some shit. Mr. Blood Kelp Wreck. Howdy doody. Right, I'm a park Maria over here. Like the big beautiful lady that she is. I'm gonna park this here and then jump up with my prawn suit because it leaves like a a base underneath to be able to get up and down out of pretty easy. So I'm not gonna bring my Cyclops all the way down there because it's a pain in my ass. And sploosh. And then if you come back here, it'd be easy to get up there. Nicers. Right. Down we go! Ferno! Whee! All the way down! Oh, Jesus. Ah, fuck! That's a rough landing. There's no suspension in this yoke. <laughs> so, this is where I found my moon pool fragments before. I think. Yeah, I hear a warper. They do like to patrol around here. I thought I saw him. Man, I'm going blind. The ocean makes me crazy. Hello? My name is Jack. I would really like it if you had scannable things inside you. Please? Hello? <laughs> I mean, need to make sure I don't get- There was a fucking way in through the bottom. Need to make sure I don't get lost as well. I am tempted to bring my mech suit actually in there, but if I get stuck then I'm out of a mech suit and that would suck a whole lot more. <laughs> Hello? Need Ooh! Ooh, yeah! Modification station fragment, yes! Come to Papa John! Okay, I can't get through there. How many do I need? Three. Okay, that should be doable. Hopefully there's more here. Ooh! What are you? Alien containment fragment. Do I have you? Okay! I think I just got all the alien containment fragments. I know my fucking oxygen! Okay, so there was something down here, which is good. No bad guys? Ooh, that's a, that's a deep dark hole down there. Let's go again! Hello? Can I have fragments? Or something? Fucking nothing. I hear a warper. Ooh! 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 I have a modification station fragment, y'all! Oh, I only need one more! Ah, oh, It's not gonna be here, is it? I've like explored the whole thing now and I didn't see any more. Nah, shut up! I hate when it does that! I hate when I get to a location, it was the same with the stasis rifle, I get to a location and it has like two out of three. And then I have to go somewhere else to find the last one. Fuck! I don't even know where they spawn. I need to go back and look at my comments and see what people were saying. Maria! I'm back! I brought gifts! Can I come in? Are you sure? Knock knock? Ah, invited, accepted. Oh, nice and toasty warm in here. Right, so there was nothing left in that wreck. Uh, I think there was a wreck to the left somewhere in the dunes, but that also home to reapers. And I don't like that. But we have two modification station upgrades, or blueprints, fragments, whatever. So that's good. That was a good, a good run. Nice! Um, because these are all the wrecks that I checked when the game was kind of broken and nothing was spawning into them. And then, like, stuff has respawned and despawned and all these different types of things since then and I've deleted all the files and had to come back and different things. So, it might be worth actually checking all of these wrecks again to see if there's anything in them. Yeah, I hear you, buddy! Woo woo woo! Because there might be stuff in them now that I, I've actually missed. And I did see that w the modification station, I was going to keep calling it the workbench, that it spawns at the mountain range, which I think is where my 
My base is. Oh, 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 no, thanks. Fuck you. Stay away. Stay away. I've never actually had one of them grab my Cyclops. I don't know if they can. But at the same time, fuck you. I hate those guys. They suck. Hmm. I'm running low on water, so I might actually get out here. There's an abundance of underwater wildlife. Hello, friends. Come here. Ah, come here. I'm gonna eat you all! I don't even know what I fucking grabbed. I grabbed a spade fish and a bladder fish. I just- I get very handsy! I'm sorry! Not you! Can you just eat the fish? Ah! Get out of here with that fucking mouth of yours! I don't know where it's been. It's probably off eating ass before this. Right, I should have enough to keep me alive. I'm coming back, Maria! Oh no, welcome aboard, Captain! No all systems online! Well! I guess I know where I fucking stand, don't I? Dunzo! Blah, 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 blah. See you later, guys! Thanks for your brothers! I wanna check what I actually need for this blueprint. Modification station. Ingredients unknown. Damn it. Alien containment provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna at a hatch to enter. How big is this fucking thing? I need four glass. Oh! That could be possible. Well, the music in this game really reminds me of, uh, Mirror's Edge, at times. The kind of... Techno... Airy, wispy kind of sounds. Mirror's Edge soundtrack is awesome, so that's a good thing. I really like the music in this game. Sometimes it kind of kicks in when I don't want it to. Hello? Reefbox? I don't know. I hear you, but I don't see you. But sometimes, yeah, the music kicks in when I don't want it to. Cause like this is nice, the exploring kind of music, but every now and then it's just like <laughs> not that hectic. But sometimes it sounds scary when nothing's happening and it makes me scared. Maybe I'm just a little bitch, <laughs> which is way more likely. I've never been to the bottom of this area. This is like the ma the mountain is there, and these are the underwater islands area, like the floaty islands. But I've never been to the bottom of them. Let's check that. Let's do that shit. Why the fuck not? We're here. We're young. We're good looking. Talk about you. Aboard, Might as well, and we can go deep. <laughs> Just sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, five hundred meters down. I had no idea this went this deep. Yeah, yeah. You're very fucking scary. Go away. That's just a propulsion cannon fragment. What's that sound? A thermal vent? If it is, that'd be great. Whoa, there's loads of them! Look at all these fucking thermal vents! Man, I've never been down here before. That's cool. Oh yeah, quartz. I need a lot of quartz, actually. That's not quartz. Dude, that's a fucking diamond deposit. Jesus. My bad. Sorry, diamond, to make you feel like you were just an insignificant little quartz. Jesus Christ, that's awesome! See, I could get energy off this if I had the thermal upgrade for this thing. But it, by the sounds of it, I need to get to the thermal places to be able to get the stuff needed for the thermal upgrade. Like sulfur and kyanite. Dude, get out of there, you're gonna die! Oh yeah, you guys are all fine, but when Jack goes there, See, it's just like a big thermal vent, like actual magma underneath that. Very interesting. Ooh, underwater island. I'm going up, leave me alone, fuck off. How's it going? Just hanging out? Fuck off! Yeah, I'll grind you into bits. You know, I came out here just to have a good time, and I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. Stop it! I'm coming, Maria. I'm coming, let me just... <sighs> Go, mech suit, go! All the way across, please. All the way across, please. Oh, God. Oh, Nelly. Okay, I'm gonna land. Because when you land on ground, you actually get your charge back faster for your thrust. Grappling, not so much. Whee! This is fun. It's gonna be fucking forever to get anything done, though. <laughs> oh. Mar Maria, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I get distracted very easily. I'll be back in a minute. Look at this cave, though! It's awesome! The fuck is in here? 
Hello? My name's Jack. Nice to meet you. Seriously, where the fuck is this place? Whoa! Dude! What the fuck? That's awesome! It's like a secret little hidey hole! But I can't, like, th thrust around in here. Which is kind of annoying. I just love my grapple hook. That'll help. Also, I'm lost, because I can't find my way back out of this place now. But look! Indoor underwater thing! Does this lead out somewhere- Ah, okay. That's actually better. It leads out somewhere at the actual island. Cool! Sorry, Maria! There you go, Pepper. There you go. Were you hurting? So I was gonna make the glass for the alien containment thing, but then I remember that I needed some quartz for some stuff in this, so we can actually make- Oh. Uh, I control my- okay, I don't need to make another camera. Gold, scanner room, hood chip, streams data from scanner to the rooms to the hood. No, scanner room range upgrade and scanner room speed upgrade. Okay, I only have one computer chip, so I'm gonna get the range upgrade, I think. Oh, it's like a little PCB. If I make another, uh, thing, I'll use that, but for now... Bloop. Range upgrade, okay. Because I think this is the mountains region. So... Oh, it doesn't make your cameras go further. Oh, that's a reaper. Because I haven't been deep down in the the mountains either. I haven't gone like this is where my base is. I haven't gone way down here with the prawn suit. And I kind of want to. I want to explore. And I think Oh god, everything's freaking out. I think people said that the modification station can be found in the mountains region. Ooh, look at those vents. <gasps> I could build a thermal plant and use those vents to power my base up there. Ooh, that might be handy. Can I scan for... Can I scan for a modification station? No. You're fucking useless to me. Why do I even have you? Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you! You are Pepper! Let's fucking go. Let's head down. Fuck this shit. Fuck everybody else. It's just you and me now. Together, at last. All the way down to the bottom. Even though, don't I find... Modification station fragments in Rex. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that's where the vent was. That means the Reaper's over there somewhere. And isn't there supposed to be a Reaper to the right of my base? Look at all the fucking magnetite that was down here. Oh god, there's a warper there as well. Okay. Pepper, I had way more confidence in this five seconds ago th than I do right now. We might die. Oh shit, well I saved it before I did anything, so if stuff goes really bad I could just reload. I don't like this <laughs> Every time I go deep down in the game. I don't like this. I wonder if there's any wrecks down here Cause As I said I haven't been down here and I can't see shit Is that a propulsion cannon? Are you a modification station fragment? Wait! Hold on a fucking second! What's happening? What?! <laughs> Why are you just floating around? Prawn suit propulsion iron fragment! What?! <laughs> modification station fragment... Why are they just floating in midair? That chase- oh fuck! Doesn't that mean I have the modification station now? Blueprints. I- I fucking should. Modification station. What?! Cause as I said, people said they were in the mountains. But that was just like, <laughs> floating in midair. There wasn't in any wreck. It wasn't in any sort of like inconspicuous location. It was just there. You know what? I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna fight it. It was there. It was easy. I like that! The amount of times I've gotten dicked over from this game I made no fucking progress. That's a breath of fresh farts right there. And I see you, thermal butthole. Ooh, underground cave. No! Not, not again! I almost got lost the last time. I'm not fucking going into those caves again. Ooh, big moon. 
wonder can I make it in there? Huh? You can do it, Pepper. You can do it, I believe in you. Come on now. Come on now, believe! Yeah! Like a fucking surgeon! Precision aim! Warning, emergency power only. Why? Oh, because I had to charge that and... Oh, I, there's no solar power right now. Oh, shit. Well, whatever. I can't fucking... I need a wiring kit, computer chip, and two times titanium. I need to go off and farm anyway, so I need to get in my fucking Sally. See you later, station. Sally is my best friend. She treats me good. So, sorry, I'm just singing a song to Sally. I, I only need two titanium. Aboard, now, and I think... Oh, think, mate, that I have it in here. Why am I talking like this? I get crazy when there's just fucking nothing happening all the time. Titanium. Didn't I just put titanium in here? Titanium. Two times titanium. That's all you need. Two times. Two times titanium. Where am I putting this workbench thing? I'll put you in the- I'll put you in the nuclear room. Uh, I need- yes. I need this duder. And where would a man find such a thing? Alien containment? No. Workbench! Oh, it's so good to have you back, buddy! Put ya here. Nice! Unpowered. Oh, yeah. Well, why the fuck are you leaking? So, I'm getting power back, but not really a whole lot. I need more solar panels. Can you... Turn? Can you actually go somewhere? Why are you not attaching anywhere? Wait! There we go. Nice. I think I have enough for one more. Is that- is that giving me all the power now? Am I like He-Man? Can I put another one behind you? Ah, there! Please reach. Do we not have the materials? Ah, fuck, I ran out of quartz. <laughs> Daytime came, but it's busy powering up the Seamoth and the Cyclops. Or the Seamoth and the Prawn Suit. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Mark 2s and 3s! Oh, I have those, but swim charge fins. Yeah, these are the things I need. High capacity tanks. I can make one of those! Yeah! How much? I go for 75 to what? 135! Oh, that's good! Nice! Plasteel tank. Extra light tank. Why would that matter? Why do I need a thermal blade? Yes, dude! Okay, so you can make Cyclops upgrades, reinforcement modules, and pressure compensator modules. Nice, because that's what I'm going to need to actually get to the bigger zones. Especially in Maria, or Sally. I'm getting confused. Because it's nice to be able to take the prawn suit. Wait! So where do I make the fucking prawn suit things? Pressure compensator mark 2. Wait, what do I need for that? Plasteel ingots, aluminium oxide crystal, and computer chip. I think I might be able to do that. But you know what? I ain't gonna save it for next time. We got some progress done. That's good. We're making our way downtown. We're not walking that fast. It's actually a slow ass process. If you saw the amount of shit that gets cut out of these videos. I fucking know. The amount of shit that gets cut out of these episodes just to farm the materials. Just to get to the locations, farm the materials, come back and get stuff done. But you know what? It's- it's worth it. It's worth it because it- it makes the videos concise. It makes them dense. Stuff actually happens in the videos. If I was to go back and start showing all the stuff of farming and everything like I used to in the older series of this, then er, people would get f super fucking bored. I'm gonna close this because I like my privacy and I don't want any sort of boogeyman to come in and kill me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And I face all around. Whoosh! Whoosh! Thank you guys, and we'll see all you dudes! That's me! And I don't get dates and numbers wrong, I'm actually pretty fucking good at those. So, no. Okay, and spear and. Whoa! Okay, that missed! Could you toss it back? Now, if you dis. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a well deserved pee.